What's up guys, it's Loka back here with another video. By the title of this video, y'all trying to, the reason why y'all click this video is because y'all trying to look like me. Y'all trying to get this little cute look. Um, I did do this look on my live, I think like a day ago or two days ago, and you guys told me to do a YouTube video on it. So I'm like, yes, I finally got, I got this blue wig I supposed, I'm supposed to review. So might as well like do the blue look and put the wig on at the same time. So, if you guys want to see how I did this look and see the wig and what company I got it from, make sure you keep watching. And I see you guys at the end of the video. <laughs> Hey guys, so I did my eyebrows off camera and we're gonna go straight into the primer. I am using my Rose and Apricot oil. This oil is leaving my foundation flawless, guys. Flawless. You can get it at Marshalls. I'm gonna go in with my Fit Me foundation in the shade 110. Your girl a little white. And we're gonna be using our Vamp Cosmetics um, blending br brush. Brush, guys. Brush. And we're just gonna be applying that all over our face. Now that we're done with that, I'm going to grab one of my brushes and we're going to shape out our eyebrows because I didn't do that and you know, you got to have some good eyebrows. Now we're going to go into our Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Sculpting Palette and I'm going to be using the medium shade and now we're going to grab our brush and blend this out. Um, you guys, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me why do I bronze underneath of my lip. You guys, it gives you guys a, the effect of a big bottom plump lip. So, you guys, if y'all want some big Kylie Jenner lips, just put some bronzer under your big ass bottom lip. Like, it works, you know? Now, we're going to be doing the other eye. And I'm going to be using the same palette. And we're going to use the banana shade. And I'm using one of the brushes just to apply under my eye. I don't like to use my finger. And I'm, I got... I got nails on now, so, you know, a girl can't do that shit. And on um, my bridge of my nose, forehead, and chin. Now we're going to just blend that shit out with my blending brush. You know, my blending, blending brush, you can get the shit anywhere, like at Walmart, Walgreens, but Walmart cheaper. You know. Oh, girl, bless you. Now we're going to go on to our translucent extra coverage um, powder or uh, baking powder. And we're going to put that underneath our eyeballs. And um, we're going to bake this shit because, you know, if you don't bake your face, how? what is a beat down? Like, what? And we're going to put some on my nose, on my forehead. I think I already put some on my chin. I just didn't put it in the video. And y'all know Lokita has to have her smoke break yeah i'm listening to some like a good ass music so we're gonna be using the hush queen palette and we're gonna be using the color called blueberry that dark navy blue that you see right there and i'm going to be grabbing a fluffy brush and we're just gonna be putting that in the inner crease or just the crease of our lid because it's gonna be like in the middle of a transition color and the lid color if that makes sense you know Okay, so now that I got both of them done, we're going to go on with the palette called Whatever by Rude. And we're going to be using that sup color. It's called sup. And we're going to be placing that on above the dark blue. And we're just going to be blending that out. Just making sure everything came out looking nice. And just good. Now we're going to go back in with the palette and use the blueberry color again. And just go over the dark blue because we just want the perfect blend. You don't want no harsh lines or anything. Now we're going to cut our crease with the Glam of Lounge Hard Candy in the shade 1500. And we're just going to cut that bitch and make that shit look sharp. I feel like I'm swearing too much. Way too much for this voiceover. My bad, y'all. Now we're going to go in with the James Charles palette and use that flashback color, the white color. And just place that all over our lid. We want that lid to be white. We want that shit to stand out. So we're putting that flashback on it. 
and now we're going to be using this blue liner i got from amazon i will put the link down below you guys can get like 12 of them and dude this liner put the whole look together let me tell you guys this look at the end when you guys see it came out so nice now i'm going to be using this glitter i got a long time ago and i'm going to be using the glitter glue and we're going to put that in the middle of my cut crease you guys can see like y'all can see um it's pretty simple it's easy it came out really nice i really like this eye look i hope you guys did so yeah i had really fun shooting this now we're gonna be just using this fit me powder and we're gonna set the rest of our face i am using it in the shade 120 and we're gonna set the rest of the face with it while we are taking the baking powder off at the same time now we're gonna bronze up the face and you guys know where i bronze up just my cheekbones and my forehead and maybe just a little bit underneath my lip and if i'm feeling a little good i'll do the bridge of my nose but now we're going to be using this glow kit and i'm going to be using this shade right there and i'm going to be using that and i'm in my inner corner i don't know about y'all but i love a light inner corner like bitch i love that shit now i am just going to be um highlighting the rest of my face yes i'm going to be doing my cheekbones and i'm also going to be doing my nose because you know a girl gotta be doing her nose like what's a highlight without your nose highlighted your girl almost forgot her eyebrow bones a look ain't nothing without that now i'm gonna be using the smashbox lip gloss this shit is popping it's popping g like it's cute okay guys we're going to be reviewing this wig from jum wigs um i got it in a pa i got it in a package like a week ago i just been like really lazy and i've been like really busy so i haven't been doing videos and reviews but i decided to go on and wear this wig today because i am wearing the makeup look you guys did ask for this makeup look so this is how the box looks they have their little like card here with two pieces of caps and then it is a synthetic wig you guys um it comes with a little brush which is so cute i love these little brushes that the wig companies be sending me because like if my hair be because i wear a lot of like extensions so like sometimes my hair be like tangly and i don't have a brush with me so these are really like good to like on the go you know this is the wig it does come with like bands and clips if you want to add more to it now i decided to get a blue wig because i don't own anything blue i do own one blue wig but it's not like a high quality blue wig and this one's a front a lace front so i decided like let me go like all out and let me be all blued out so we're gonna go on and try this on um it came with a net around it came with some like stuff in it um you guys can see the lace right here and and the inside on the top it has your one clip and then on the sides it has two clips and then on the bottom it has your little bands to make it tighter i already like the wig because inside some of the wigs come like with no clips some of the wigs come with no bands like sometimes it's just like that and this is very helpful so i'm gonna go ahead and cut the wig lace off and then i will put the wig on on my head on camera by the way can you guys just see what my dog be doing on a regular day basis look what she just did like she broke my scissors how the hell am i gonna use these i mean i could but still like okay y'all so i did cut the lace finally um i'm gonna just brush it out a little bit i don't know if i'm gonna wear this all day usually i don't wear my synthetic wigs all day but i mean we can try so let's open the wig cap up okay so i'm just gonna grab one and usually i just leave like my hair down because it's like so thin so like it's not that bad when i put my wigs on
Y'all, do you guys see this shit? Like, <laughs> okay, so it's really pretty. It's bulky on top, so you can tell it's super fake. But I think I'm going to wear a hat today just to like make it not look that much fake on top. Obviously, it's fake here. It looks fake. But I feel like if this like is down or something, like it'll look a, less, a little bit less fake. This is how long it is when I stand up. It's pretty long. <sighs> like who has long blue hair like this? Like a fucking superhero or some shit. I feel like Wonder Woman. But she got black hair. I don't know why. So like I feel like Wonder Woman. So this is the wig. Um, It looks really real right here, which I like. Um... I think you can part it any way you want. Like, this is a middle part. But let's see if we can do a side part. And then I think if you can part it, I think you'll be able to, like... Um, because sometimes when synthetic wigs are already parted, it's hard to, like, part on because, like, the hair's already, like, trained to go that way. But I feel like if you grab a straightener, you might be able to like repart it somehow. Oh, you guys can see my cap. Like, do you guys see where I'm, what I'm talking about? Like, this little hair just keeps going this way, this way, because it's parted the other way. Um, this hair is so cute. I feel like I'm going to try to put some baby hairs on it. Synthetic baby hairs. Anyways, to make it more real, you want to grab a, a little brush. And you can grab the same color as your foundation. And you want to put it in the line. By the way, that's how far the part is. I don't really dig that, but... If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you hit the bell button to get all the notifications every time I post a video. This will be the girl I am shouting out today, by the way. Um, if you don't know who she is, she is the one who made my intro. Yes, you guys been seeing I have a new intro, like, you know, and she's the one who made it for me. So shout out to her. I really like it. So I'm using it. Give it a thumbs up and I see you guys in my next video.